like say a dancer or a fighter, you need to stretch. A gymnast, you would need to stretch prior to and after uh, mm -hmm. you know your routine. How important do you feel um, you know um, relaxation is for the craft for an actor? Relaxation is critical. The thing to be careful of in relaxation is that it, it is it has two purposes. It is both an exercise, right? The same way you do push-ups, right? So don't think of stretching. Think of push-ups. Okay. Right? right. There's a muscle you want to build. Because so, sometimes stretching feels passive. It's like, yeah, I just want something to kind of be there and I want to have some flexibility. I want my body to feel good. Right. When you actually relax the mask, your physical habits, you may not feel so good. You may not feel, ah, oh, so great. It's lovely. No, the, the mask says it's lovely. Right, right. The mask says, oh, well, I'm having a great time today. This is, this is wonderful. Meanwhile, yeah. I'm thinking, how long do I can get out of here? <laughs> yeah. Right? Right, we've had those days. Yeah, exactly. So yeah. when you actually relax, when you, when you, in a way, relaxation is another way of saying like, like opening up the opening up the, the pathways, right? Mm. Opening up the muscles, opening up the energy, so that your energy actually flows, so that you are in touch with what you actually have. When you do that, when you are actually feeling what you have in your body, sometimes that doesn't feel so good. Mm. Now, it's all energy. So, so it's still an inspired place, but it is not really a comfortable place. That's why I say think of it more <clears throat> like doing pull-ups, right? Where you're right. where you're working to develop something. You're working to can I develop this skill, the skill to release a block, to release in in a way like like that, something right. that holds on. Can I let it go? Are you scanning your body in that situation? Like, are you saying like, oh, you know? Now that I think about it, my neck is tight, or my shoulders, or I have tension mm -hmm. in my knee. Like, you, do you do an active scan? Yeah, of course. In relaxation, you yeah. do. Now here's the now here's the part that we're going to mess with you a little bit. Okay. Right, because you've you've studied with us long enough that you're ready to. Dude, I'm I'm down. Yeah, good. I'm ready. Good, good. Well, here we go. Okay. Right. It's one thing to do relaxation and to scan. Say, okay, well, wow, I have something in my neck, and I've got something in my shoulder, and oh, I got some energy in my chest. Right. You, you, wherever whatever you might do know that that little voice in your head is unnecessary. Right? Okay. That little voice in your head is unnecessary. The thing is, that, oh wow, I got something in my shoulder. You can feel it in your shoulder regardless of whether you say it or not. Is that a level of an awareness type? Yes, and, and it's actually surrendering to an awareness. Okay. It's actually getting into the moment because it's a tricky little thing, but we get people who train, they seem to be training well, they're doing the relaxation well, they seem to be able to concentrate, and yet, when it comes time to perform, they look stiff, they look you know, analytical. Right, right. They they're think, in their you know, heads too much. They're right? in their heads too much, right? Well, one of the reasons they get in their head is they're actually not doing the exercise in the proper way, right? So they are training a bad habit, <clears throat> and it's hard to see, but they train it right into the, what looks like a good habit, relaxing, they train in an intellectual approach to relaxing, right. an intellectual approach to body awareness, an intellectual approach to expressiveness. Right. So we're going to talk about it using lots of words, but you can feel like you feel my finger in your chest. Right. I don't need to say it. Regardless of what we say, and I can say, "Oh, I think you're amazing." And if you feel me punching you, you're going to punch back. Right. The words only make you confused. The words go, oh wait, wait but he seems nice, but he's, a, and, you're, and you're gonna get all messed up, right? Your body knows the truth, often long before your brain does. So, so that's the step for you to take now, right? Is, that's a real interesting point that you just said there. Yeah. Your body knows the truth. Yeah. Your body knows, I haven't heard that yet. So can you get to awareness, not just thinking about, right? Thinking about is, let me think about whether I'm relaxed or not. Think about whether I'm nervous or not. Thinking about what I should be concentrating on for the scene. Mm -hmm. In a way, you're third person. I'm going to be over here to tell myself to think about that. Right. And method acting is first person. Right? I want you here in the shoes of this character, in the circumstances of this, of this situation. Right? And I want you to be. I want you to be a human being under those circumstances. Mm -hmm. right? And that means more awareness, more of like the sensation, even when you create reality. Right, so we're in a scene together, and you go, "Well, that's we're brothers." Well, we're not brothers. You don't look like my brother. My brother's slim. He's like 150 pounds. My brother, you're a big dude. I go, so I have to like, I can imagine all my brothers there. My brothers there. My brothers there. Right? Well, if if I want to believe that you're my brother, that we are brothers, that we have history like that, right? I have, I 
have to open up my awareness and not just think about, yes, yeah, so with my brother, I usually treat him like this and this is how I interact and this is what I do. Right. right? No, so, you have to believe. So what would be uh, something you would do uh, maybe to, to develop that awareness or use that awareness to, to get that impression or give yourself an impression that I am your brother, believe that I am your brother? So, so two things. First of all, I'm not, I'm not personally a huge fan of, of outright substitution. Okay. It can be useful in a lot of situations, but I don't, I have not seen most people be successful looking at you and just trying to drop my brother in, like, right. a, like a Photoshop. Yeah. At, right, the, the Photoshop uh, angle on that. Like, no, no, no I, I, I rarely see that work. And by the way, then I lose you. Mm -hmm. That's a good point. I, I lose your eyes, your sensitivity, your anger, your presence. I, I miss it. Right. Because I'm like, I'm trying to like impose something else on top of it. Right. So when you believe, don't deny anything. It's chilly in this room. Don't deny it. Mm. Oh no, I'm gonna pretend like it's warm and no, it, it, it's chilly in this room. Yeah. Own it. Right. Share it because it's all energy, right? Now, if you say like, so how do I create that? How do I create that relationship? There are a dozen ways to create it. For me personally, um, I, would probably, I would probably use a place because I have certain places with my brother, with, my brother's a year and a half older, you know, we, we went to, you know, we, we shared a room as kids, went to the same high school, same college. We spent a lot of time around each other. There's certain places that are that for me are brother places, certain activities, certain things we did together, right. where I can get that camaraderie and competition. We're not hugely competitive, but we are brothers, that right? Brotherly kind of yeah, competition. Um, so I won't say what my particular places are and my particular activities, mm -hmm. but there are scents like a, the smell of one place really easy for me, really easy okay. to get to get. Yeah. Right. But here's the thing, if I think about, oh, I want that smell. Yeah, that smells just like that. But now I've taken my, I've gotten intellectual again about my sensation. Right. Right. So can I just smell it and be here with you? Right. Yeah. Can I just smell it? Can I just, and be here with you? Right. And be here with my brother. And not think about smelling it, think about being here with my brother. So that's that's the step for you because there's you've ha, you've had you've run this for a little while now where you're so dutiful and respectful about the technique that I think a lot of times you end up thinking about being. I think so too. I think you know it's uh, it's, it's ironic you just said that. <laughs> I think so too. Exactly. Yeah. Don't think about it. Let it sit for yeah. you. Absolutely. How much can you be? Can you feel? Because you're ready to do that. You're ready to. It's like a crutch. Training wheels is thinking about do thinking about being is a training wheel, right? Or a crutch for you. So drop the crutch. Drop the crutch. Get off the training wheels. And B. Yeah. You choose to believe in something. You choose to create an awareness. Create it. You want to scan your body? Do it right now. Scan your body. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I see. You don't know if you can just kind of ah. Uh, like I scan my body and there's energy in it. It's interesting too that you say place. I've been experimenting with place quite yeah. a bit lately oh. and it is powerful it is powerful whether uh, you create the place uh, yourself or mm -hmm. like you say you draw from a previous place that you you know uh, have had experience with it's very very powerful yeah it really is place not everyone responds the same way because everyone's different and at the same time place is really like a really flexible exercise right mm -hmm. it's a flexible way to believe because so much of what we believe is is based on where we sit. If you and I were sitting in a cafe, it would be a different conversation. If we were out on the corner, a street corner, it would be different. If we were in the street corner in New York, it would be different. In conversation. I would speak differently. Yeah. I do. I move a little differently. I speak a little differently in New York, where I grew up. Right now, are those, you know, 180 degree shifts? Probably not. Probably not. But that's a fairly small, small move. Same person, same conversation just changing the place. Mm -hmm. But there are some places where we barely talk at all. Yeah. Where even having this conversation, right? Or, you know, at a club, you could never have this conversation. Yeah. Or you'd be trying to get it in through the music. Right. right? Every, yeah, exactly. What? Yeah. <laughs> out, get out of your head, right? It'd be a different, <laughs> it'd be a different conversation. Place is powerful. Yeah. Place is useful. It's really flexible because there's so many ways in. That's the other nice thing about place. Right? Is that so many exercises? You know, I happen to love things that have skin involved. Mm -hmm. Right? The sense of touch, I, I find very, very powerful. 
but a place can be a sense of touch, right? It can be a smell, it can be sight, it can be something you hear. Absolutely. Right? I, I tend to recommend people to develop senses other than sight, just because practically speaking, when you're working, your sight gets very busy. Right? Yeah. You're reading new pages, they, they give you oh, the, the double orange pages, you gotta read the, the oh, Hit your marks. Hit your marks, yeah. right? Keep your, keep your eyeline over here. Or sometimes, you're, by the way, you're looking right at your scene partner. And they're doing this, and you're like, oh, and they're actually really interesting. But you're like, no, 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 the place. I gotta see the place. I gotta, <laughs> I gotta look at the place, right? right? Not so, not so useful. Many times, the the other four senses are a little bit more portable, right, than sight, for for many circumstances. Yeah, I see. I feel. I, I know exactly what you're talking about. <laughs> and, but place includes them all. Has the potential to include any of the senses. So again, it's a nice exercise because because it allows anyone a way in. Can you say like the same about say something like touch or taste? You know how like place can include all the senses. Can taste do the same? Can touch? Is it not as? I, I, f I find them more specialized, right? Yeah, I mean yeah. now taste and smell tend to be related, mm -hmm. right? But if you're working on a, a sharp, you know, a sharp taste, I don't know how much hearing you're going to get out of that. That's going to be actually related to the experience. Maybe. Maybe you do, that's part of talent, right? Mm -hmm. Talent is also, the light hits the gem and it shoots off in surprising directions. That's talent. So as you create the sense of taste, the fact that something else comes up, a sense of touch, a smell, a sound, someone's voice, a place, a whole place might emerge based on the taste, right? Right. That's talent. It literally, it's like the refraction of a gem. Oh, yeah. Uh, talent's the gem and the light hits it. You're you're generating energy, you're believing in something, you're creating something, it hits your, your gem and goes, bing, and right, So you off. might start with, say, something like taste, and then from there, it just explodes into all these different, wham! That's a good point. <laughs> right? Yeah. And you don't always know where it's gonna go. The, the closer you get to awareness, and the less you yeah. are thinking, the less you'll know exactly where it's gonna go, and the more exciting it'll be. It'll be a, fun, a more fun ride. I never thought of it like that, like light hitting a gem. That makes perfect sense. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Right on. I'm excited to see it. See you try it. I'll be honest. Starting when I started working here, I, I, like I would, I was just like, I'm going to listen to whatever the teachers, you know, the instructors say. I'm going to listen to it all and just do what they say. And for the longest time, you know, you're sitting in the chair, you're trying to find sure. things, and <laughs> you know, Dave, I'm not like it, it. It took me a long time. It still take. I'm still not there. Yeah. I'm still not there. Yeah. And I work at it every day, and I, I work at it everywhere, not just here, but everywhere I go. Mm -hmm. I try to find how to relax, sensory stuff. But what I've noticed is the material here, the sensory work, the relaxation is so potent mm -hmm. that it almost hypersensitizes you to your world mm. and you start to hear things you've never heard before smell things and taste things you never heard feel things like uh, you know an argument with someone might actually well you up and make you yeah. teary whereas before you you're like you know, screw this person or whatever right so it's like I found that by doing the work here and by by um, going through the sensory going through the relaxation uh, it, it just is hypersensitized my body it's it's kind of wild. I never knew that this is what it was like. Yeah. Before coming here, you could have, I would have thought that acting was more like you get lines and you put emotion behind those lines on the mm -hmm. fly and that's what makes a good actor. And yeah. like, I just thinking about that now, I, just, I realize how limited that is in thinking. What you're discovering is that's always been you. That's just you without the armor. Just you without the armor. We didn't, we didn't change anything in you. That you was always there. That sensitive person was always there. Just had a lot of armor. Yeah. Okay. Good luck. Thank you, hey? You're welcome.